Hello and welcome to a very exciting episode. Yeah, this time we're going to be drawing a witch. A witch. Um, you may have seen the speed drawing. That was a uh, one I did yesterday, in fact. And uh, unfortunately, the filming was a little bit off. So I thought I'd film it again and give you a narration while I'm at it. So I've been doing a lot of cartooning lately. Um, escaping the strictness of drawings that I've been doing for my degree at the moment and I thought I, I did the uh, <laughs> let me just show you in my sketchbook I did this the other day I posted on Facebook you might have seen it and uh, I did this other one. Of uh, this guy. <laughs> and a uh, few other little uh, sketches, cartoon characters. And, uh, and what I want to do now is a version of this one show you how I did it really. Um, it's a nice fun one. Um, and the funny thing is witches. I was afraid of witches when I was a kid. I used to think I saw them flying past the toilet window. So I used to be afraid to go to the toilet. Oh, terrible childhood. <laughs> so let's do this. Let's get this face. So I did quite a um, <laughs> good size nose on this one so I'll, I'll I'll replicate that on this one so I'm starting with a pencil this is a uh, a Dewint studio pencil it's from an old um, set any red pencil will do or blue pencil if you prefer blue <coughs> I won't do an exact copy of what I'm doing because uh, when you're drawing, you want to be creative and you want to be able to change things up a little bit. I'll, I'll give it a, the base of it though. The base of it will be the same. So, look at the news. So this is like stage one. This is the, um, the time that you can work things out. <laughs> that nostril was a bit small. So you can change things and it's a good idea to be quite light with your pencil. I'm going a bit darker just so it can be shown up on camera. But you want to be quite light so you can easily rub things out. So the eyes facing us. Eyebrows going upwards to give it that sort of mean witch look and the witch is uh, it's got one of those horrendous cackles <laughs> it's my horrendous cackle awful uh, witch impression and it did quite a big mouth doesn't matter if it's not perfect when you're doing these because it's a cartoon. You can get away with things. Just give it a few teeth. <laughs> Gives it that more of a more of a witchy look with just a the bad witch look with a few teeth. If you're gonna do a good witch, you'll give the witch all its teeth. All their teeth would be better then. So that's the uh, cheek area. We've got that little line under there for the eye. Bit of a line there. <laughs> so this one looks crazier than my other one. Let's have a chin. Ok. 
curve is not right. So one thing I found, and uh, <coughs> must point out, I've been learning a lot from uh, videos by Will Terrell, and uh, I'll put a link to his channel there. Um, it's a fantastic channel, and I've always done drawings um, originally cartooning on white paper and uh, using the mid-tone which I did I have done a few but um, I find it a lot easier it's a lot um, better for me I enjoy it more <laughs> uh, and uh, doing this it makes me laugh <laughs> makes me laugh a lot looking at what I'm drawing let's go so the hair would be sort of here the ear in oh, this is a big head the hair going quite big this time I'm really exaggerating this one in comparison to my previous but I just want to show you how how I did it really just give you an idea of what I'm the equipment I'm using so the paper is um, day of the round is let me just show you day of the round the earthbound recycled sketchbook and uh, I've done I've used a few of these now I'm on to like my fourth <laughs> sketchbook I'm just filling them up with random pictures and I actually start, started using them uh, for doing drawings of characters and then uh, just getting, got into them using cartoons so I the witch's hat Yeah, yeah. This stage, this is a um, problem solving stage really, you've got to work out all the issues that you've got with the witch. What's going on there? <laughs> Alright, let's get this hat on. Something like that. So the wind's blowing the hat up. I think the hat would stop about there. I don't want it to be too. And it would, uh, you can stretch things a bit more when you're doing cartoons. But yeah. <laughs> And uh, let's put this bit on. We'll have like a. I quite like the, um, the bit of material that goes around it, and then. Something like that. And yeah, 
I want the action because the witch is going this way. I've kind of done the hair in that way, but it really needs to be going that way just to give the um, witch movement. I don't really like this line, it's not quite right. I think it needs to be more like there. And up there. Yeah, I prefer that. Okay. A little bit on the lip there. So we originally we've got um, got the witch on the broomstick, so let's do that again. We'll have maybe maybe we could exaggerate the body more, have a smaller body, this huge head. Or have have the have the witch more cramped. <laughs> let's have a look. I quite like the cape thing. Sort of a tatty looking cape. Put one of them on again. And I notice I hold the pencil like this. It's kind of a loose way to do it and just using the side rather than always like that. It's good for like very tight areas that you really want to create the detail. But this it gives you a loosen looseness to it. Which is good. Especially when you're uh, drawing witches. <laughs> like and I kind of like the idea of that being a bit longer actually. Right there. Something like there. And the body. Like that. It's quite a good idea for um, <clears throat> for anyone, any artist, to go and do life drawing, and even using uh, some of the things on YouTube where they have models in, and you can use them for life drawing as well. But you just want to do a lot of um, drawing, I find, just to get better and better. Right. Let's see. Let's see that the... Um, going at more of an angle than before. Not like that. I'll just make sure I'm in the frame. Because <laughs> um, the reason I couldn't use the last video, partially because I didn't speak, I was going to dub it afterwards, but I uh, wasn't watching the frame, so I wasn't getting things in it. <laughs> Basically, right, so the arms. One arm is there. Just rip that bit out, don't need that now. No, like a, a comic elbow. <laughs> seeing the the long the long thin arm there I quite like that um, make sure the angle's right though for the elbow bit Just check that yep and one hand I have one of them, one of <laughs> I have that thumb going behind and then the fingers. Yeah, 
going across like that and then the other arm Disaster has struck. There we go. Like that, and then the other one. And then we've got the other one here. So. Something like that. And legs in. Gonna need to do uh, pull this back a little bit so we've got enough room for the legs. that to follow the leg really I need to follow the leg with the dress hmm I just thought maybe I should give the witch a thin waist see how it looks I like that because then I've got like a, a bit of a rounded back. Yeah, and the feet. I just had them sort of dangling last time. I might um, have them going like this. if that missed the frame <laughs> not again a bit bigger than that <laughs> oh, looks funny just have a smaller bend on that one I'm not sure about that. I think it looks better the way I did it before, actually. Yeah, that looks okay. That'll do. So that leg, so you can sort of see that leg goes from there. Yeah, 
Okay. And then uh, we need the cat in. So the cat's kind of here. Maybe I could exaggerate the cat as well. Before I had the cat's head quite small, like a quite a small cat. Maybe in this one, I can make the cat a bit bigger. It's still not happy though, of course. <laughs> Like that, and then it pour one pour here, holding on, and then the other one, the other one dangling down. sharpen my pencil. It's one thing um, <coughs> it's always important <laughs> keep your pencil sharp keep your pencil sharp because you get, you get drawing and you get into it and then uh, you, you start using this blunt pencil and your lines are not in position that you wanted them to be in because you've not got the control <laughs> yeah something like that anyway <laughs> give the uh, cat some eyebrows And <laughs> and then the body and body sort of hanging this way. a little bit big I think and then the tail we was whisking it over here <laughs> right, so <clears throat> that's the drawing part and then uh, let me introduce you to what I'm going to use to colour it. Okay, so I'm going to use Pro Markers. I've got um, Pro Markers and Copics. I've got more <coughs> Pro Markers than I have got Copics though. Because <laughs> they're uh, cheaper. I mean, they're good pens. I like them, um, but I do like Copics as well. What I like about the Copics is the brush on the end of them. I'll just show you. I like it's got light on the Copics. It has like the chisel end, and it's got the brush end, and I like the brush end a lot. So. 
eventually I probably will get all carpics, but for now pro markers work and they're pretty good also so I'm going to start colouring in the witch's face green and I'm uh, letting the uh, ink bleed into the paper I can use this side which is the chisel side to cover bigger areas but if I want to uh, get the details done I use this side so I can stay in the lines <laughs> up using the uh, smaller side quite a lot actually because I'm terrible at colouring in you know those colouring books everyone had probably maybe you've got one now I was not very good at staying in the lines I'm better at doing C. <laughs> that just proves it. Um, I'm better at doing lines. So I was thinking I could invent a lining book so people could just do the lines. <laughs> so I could colour in a load of pictures and then uh, people could buy it and then do the lines. <laughs> Mm, I think it's a great invention. Not sure if it's as fun though. <laughs> Probably won't take off. Okay. This colour is lime green. Lime green. It's a nice colour for this witch. So areas that you feel will get less light, you can always go over those areas again with the, uh, the ink and you can create layers. That's the good thing about them. One of the good things about them. The other good thing is, <laughs> if you're a painter, you do oils and stuff like, like me, like I'm into. These are quite easy to clean up after yourself when you finish. You don't have a dirty set of brushes to clean up. <laughs> and you don't have paint all over your hands. Not that that really bothers me, to be honest, but the cleaning up bit, sometimes I'm like, ah, this is so much better, no cleaning up. But different materials for different things. Right, I'm going to do the hair I'm using cardinal red the hair. I just had that horrible feeling that I wasn't recording. <laughs> I just looked, I was like, oh, am I recording this? But I am, it's alright. So I hope you enjoy this episode. It's different to uh, others. I like to try out different materials. I like to have fun and enjoy myself when I'm doing my art. That, that's the one thing that I think is the most important when you're doing your drawings or your paintings. You're going to be enjoying yourself. 
having fun with it if you don't enjoy painting mountains and landscapes then try painting something else if you enjoy painting figures and paint figures you should do what you enjoy otherwise what's the point I'm quite lucky I like doing it all <laughs> I enjoy painting I enjoy drawing cartoons I think it's fun <laughs> it's what I used to do when I was a kid well, not painting it drawing I used to uh, line my action figures up and I would uh, I'll do drawings of them. So I'm trying to use the colours, um, like the colour of the, that bit of the hat and there, there is all the same colour, just to give it a, um, a colour harmony really. Right, I'm using a cool grey number three now. I'm going to do the hat. That's something else um, you may or may not know. It's easier to bring your strokes towards you. So turning the page is an important part of drawing. <laughs> now I used to um, when I'm when I'm painting. I turn the canvas around sometimes, turn it upside down if I'm not getting the stroke right and I keep trying and it just doesn't work I turn it around, turn the canvas around do it from a different angle so <laughs> it's something I've always done Do a little bit of that bit and then I do the rest with this end. I'm trying to create the shape using the uh, pen now. While that's still a little bit wet, while the ink's wet, I'm going to go in with another colour, a darker colour, just to uh, go along this side. Things are going to get more developed when we start adding the black line around it. Just want to give it more of a three dimension. So I've got two colours going now. like the way I've done the back now. I'm using the darker one for the out bit. While it's still wet. So the, the colours sort of bleed into each other that way. You can get a blender pen as well, I've got one, but it dried up. It just helps with uh, well, <laughs> the clues in the name. Helps with the blending. Using the dark one for this back arm. Just 
to make it a bit more obvious that the arm is behind. You can even the shadow under the cape there. And here, bottom part of the arm. Back to this again. I'm trying to follow the contours of the body. Go with the darker one again. again and while we've got this, these greys of course we can use a cape turn the page again just drop the books then <coughs> and we're back Going quite quick there. Okay. Use a bit of the dark again, just to do the end part of this. to work on the this use a uh, copic marker so I can show you it just using this copic one just turn it this way so it's easier for me and yeah I'm using the brush and and I really like this because can get the fine areas using not a lot of pressure but then with a bit more pressure you can do the, uh, the bigger areas I'm not going to completely fill that in because I kind of want that to be sort of a bit of air in it. <laughs> Just use another colour for this. It's a caramel colour. Just want to darken it underneath. Okay, let's do the um, the witch's shoes. Okay. 
Okay, and then the, uh, the cat. Go around the eyes, ears. Hey, I could do this cat with white around the eye. <laughs> nah, we'll, we'll, we'll keep it as a witch's cat. Keep the nose white though. <laughs> this poor cat hanging on there. it up a bit because witches tend to have uh, witches I mean <laughs> cats <laughs> um, tend to get their tails go fluffy when they're scared especially in scraps Actually, I've forgotten to do the mouth. Let's grab this dusky rose colour. Just do the inside of the witch's mouth here. Using a liner, this is a Copic multi liner 0.3. <coughs> we'll start creating the lines, and of course, it is easier to turn the page. Just like I said earlier, it's easier pull the lines towards you. Okay. Of course, rules are there to be broken. He might be able to do it better another way. So I don't always do it where I do the lines last. Sometimes I do the lines first and then when the ink's dry then I'll uh, come back and colour it. I don't think there's any right or wrong way to do that, I'm not 100% sure. kind of new to all this anyway. <laughs> and uh, something uh, need to do is uh, using a white gel pen white gel pen I use that to 
color in the white of the eyes. Just works, works well on these um, mid-tone sketchbooks. I suppose if you're using ordinary uh, white sketchbook, you don't need to do that. Okay, let's uh, do the hair. You can make the hair a bit sharper with your pen rather than uh, the way it was well the way it was for me because of the, uh, the way the markers bleed it's, you didn't get quite as sharp ends but You can take your time on this point as well. Don't feel like you need to rush. So uh, really starting to look better. With the line around it. <laughs> oh, <little> elbow. <laughs> Be a guy to lose in this bit. So it's quite hard to talk and do this. <laughs> I have to really concentrate. <laughs> Yeah, like I was saying earlier, um, really good channel, uh, Will Terrell's channel. I'll put a link in the description uh, as well. Uh, found his videos useful, and I think it's great that people uh, 
happy to share their skills with us. some stripes around that <laughs> I thought that when I did my original drawing I thought about stripes around those I never put them in maybe I could use them more. <laughs> just add something doesn't it add something to the character Got this little sort of flick of hair there, the other ear. I've tried to keep the cat quite simple, really. kitten in the other one, it's more of a cat in this one. Two little wiggly strokes to give it some Go back with that pen and fill that bit up. Just want to create some darker bits. Okay, now. <coughs> do some light because the uh, oh I've just noticed missed the line there and I've got light coming this way so we can put it on areas hitting and it really helps with the um, with the mid-tone of the book to put the light on <laughs> mm. I like the expression on that cat's face let's put a couple of whiskers This isn't a happy cat. <laughs> so we'll put a little white there. It's 
fun putting the uh, the white on because it shows up so strong when you do it on the mid tone. <laughs> These eyes they look crazy. <laughs> this witch is just nuts. I like this gel pen. I'll uh, I'll put a description of all the items I'm using in the uh, in the description. <laughs> There we go. <coughs> Call this one finished. Thanks very much for watching this one. Gives you an idea of how to do <laughs> this. <laughs> it's a little different. Widen the face a little bit and the cat's got bigger and exaggerated some stuff, but gives you an idea of how to do your own witch. So uh, thanks very much for watching and I'll see you at another one. Cheers, bye. Ha, 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 ha.